Hey everyone, welcome back to Ice on Mars Presents. We look at games and it's funny. This is Michael T. Bradley. <laughs> this is Skix Maddox. And we are going to return now to, I think, part three of four of Heart of China. Are you ready to dig back in, Skix? Let's get digging. Do you smell? Yes, I I have that sense and organ and it works. It's your musk, pal. Oh, spell is baked goods. May we find donuts? See, I I actually watched back through, and he the donuts thing has been going on for a while. Oh, I didn't notice it either. Some petrol. All right. I thought Lucky was American, but I guess this is old school American. I yeah, Yankee. Let's go all the way up there. Uh, all right, fair enough. K -k 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 cat man do. Look at what that cat can do. <laughs> Two telegraph office. Um, that doesn't make any sense. No, see, I grew up in Maine, and the same is true there, and we didn't have much conversation. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I, I, I grew up in uh, Missouri, and mostly there, people just got pregnant at 12. <laughs> Nine months after winter, yes. Right. Petru symbolizes the narrowing of truth as maintained by the... Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, I didn't get all of that. Parasing! <laughs> he opened that door really fast. He was just waiting for them there. Not a lot of frames of animation. Yeah. Wait, llamas or llamas? Cause yeah, this is. I was actually gonna make that joke, and then. Uh... What? <laughs> I I don't get it. Uh, lucky. Don't... <sighs> <sighs> lucky just makes me want to slap him. I yeah. I I I guess I'm you know. The one without my homes. Do llamas homes. have homes? They're not really humpy. I don't even think so, no. Llama. What does that mean? Where's his flowing robes kind of high? Llama, like llama, he's got good llama, legs? John Llama. I, Holy Llama, oh god. I don't even understand what's going... <laughs> Why is he talking to a llama anyway? Would... Should she be talking to him, maybe? Oh god, I hope that we don't win by saying Boonga Lagoonga. <laughs> that reminds me of my racist grandfather. Uh, he had a few jokes that that would have fit in. <laughs> he had a whole slew of cannibal jokes. <laughs> what an odd thing to fall back on. <laughs> yes, he was an odd one. Like, uh, dinner seems a little quiet, let's throw in some cannibal jokes. Why don't cannibals eat clowns? That did that did win us the day, um, doing the Munga Lunga uh, option. That's too bad. Because clowns are horrible and terrifying, and no one wants to get close to them. That's the answer, obviously. No, because they taste funny. Eh. Okay. So now we're just learning about like the Wally Llama in Kathmandu, I guess. Oh, we're going to get ennobled. How nice. Yeah. Suddenly Lucky becomes enlightened and this becomes a very different game. <laughs> Suddenly it becomes Journey. So wait, the llama... I, I get that like, the llama is a spiritual leader, but now he's like a psychic? Now Lucky, for just $20. Okay. <laughs> Neither did I, Lucky. This is getting weird. Is that, is there like a trope for that? Like the magical Nepalese? Like the magical Negro? Well, uh, Dale Cooper had some pretty magical ideas about uh, Tibet. Sure. So maybe. But don't you say a damn word wrong about Twin Peaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. Although I don't know why Josie wound up in the doorknob. You you don't? I mean, are no, we, that... should we have this conversation? 
Uh, good thinking, Lucky. Uh, sometimes, sometimes when people die a violent death in Twin Peaks, they wind up in wood, uh, just like the log lady's husband. The log lady's husband wound up in the log. You, you, you your that theory uh, appeals to you. Well, yeah. I mean, how else would she know those things about what her husband heard? Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and uh, and and then later uh, we see Ben like surprised at something he sees in the wood. We assume it's Josie, but it could be someone else who had died. Anyway, <laughs> King okay. Tut. What Tut are we? What are we going on here? Um, I don't even know what the hell just happened. No, I spelled donuts. Lucky Jesus. Sheesh. Is he saying sheesh because he's enlightened now and he really can tell to that degree, or... No, I think uh, he's just he... being his usual sarcastic douchebag. Got it. This Heart of sarcastic douchebaggery. <laughs> it, is he? Fool. He came in and checked on the dying woman. That's... You're such a good boy. Yeah, I think what you suggested earlier is is true. I think he's trying to be Ash, but he's just succeeding in ass. <laughs> she not fertile forever. He's he's a lot of sheesh in here. Sheesh, sheesh. I think that's how we're supposed to hear it. Sheesh. Isn't shisha a drug thing? I, I want to make I a know. joke about it, but I, I feel I'll come across the ignorant. Hashisha? Is that... uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Backsheesh. Hashish! <laughs> <laughs> but you can call it hash for short. Can you say sheesh for short? Like, is it just any syllable will do? Why not? Every time they say sheesh, I'm going to assume that's what they're talking about. Okay. What do you just say about a gym sock? I, I totally lost focus. I did not say anything about a gym sock. Not you, the text. Oh, I don't think I don't think it said that. Are tongues dulcet? I feel like we're in some sort of like mad libs at this point. <laughs> yes. You know, like they are in Nepal and Lucky decides to talk to the llama while Kate talks of dulcet tones. Tells it tongue, no less. Sheesh. Ama is a character in this season of Supernatural. Isn't it? I think. Probably the same. I... Probably based on this, I'm sure. Must be. Must be. See me slinging those pop culture references like the kids these days? Except probably played by, like, some 21-year-old girl with thin, stringy hair. Pretty much. Yeah. Mosey on now. Jake? Is his name Jake? Yep. Lucky Jake Masters. Oh, right. Lucky Jake. Okay. That was... All right. Well, that was ennobling. <laughs> now we're to Tavern. I thought, I thought maybe that was like the Moose Lodge or something. Meanwhile, Li Dang has found another white woman to dress up in Chinese drag. Probably be Water Buffalo Lodge instead of Moose, though. I like how he keeps doing that pose, as if, like, that's gonna make it any better. We've got an adventuring party here, getting <laughs> they've just met, and they're getting ready to go out and slay some kobolds. Why they don't bother clearing the roof? Because they're not flat. Yeah. Also, they don't need no water. Water. Ugh. I. This is. We are in such a weird, like, third level of what the hell. Like, how is this game the heart of China? Is Chi the heart of China? He's like the only Chinese thing about the last twenty minutes. The heart of China was within you all along. I'm getting really tired of every character speaking Pigeon English. Yeah. They should either not speak English at all. 
Right. Which would be more realistic. Which I guess the peasant and um, I guess the peasant that was the only character who sp didn't speak English. This little village has scotch. Gulp, gulp, gulp. <laughs> huh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty that, funny, actually. Yeah. Oh dear God! Are no. we really gonna try to? Yep, that's what we're gonna go for. I, I bartender's my favorite character so far. Yeah, though my face may be poorly rendered, my speech is not. Cream of yak private, so oh, lovely. Lol, <laughs> Easterners and their funny food. Lol. <laughs> I always pronounce it lol in my head, like the name <laughs> lol. Oh. Anything else a man can buy with his money here? Wait, what was that about hormones? Yeah, I don't know. I keep losing something focus, the, I, I apologize. Something about the funny food they eat, I think. Oh, maybe it's, like, potency, because that's kind of how the cliché works. Oh, is that it? Alright. Maybe write book? Maybe call it Heart of China. Dun, 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 dun. It seems like we were really focused on a plot in the first half, and it sped right by, and now that we're in Nepal, it's just like, fuck it, let's just try silly uh, things. So is that guy in the front on the left nursing a wounded hand? Like, it looks like maybe his hand got chopped off? Or he's holding half a jelly donut. Maybe. Or... Or he's, like, whittling a knife on his hand? I'm more concerned with the fact that it looks like part of his hip has been erased and blacked out. <laughs> they had to, like, <laughs> censor because he wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> they could see his yak privates. So now we're just getting locals drunk for no apparent reason. I have a friend who does that except like in in text but she doesn't write a y at the end so I always make monkey sounds whenever she does it. Yeah. It's like reading Discworld for a moment. <laughs> it always slightly bothers me when people do that sort of thing where they're not thinking of the word as something to be read aloud. Yeah. Like yeah. like they multiply just the last letter to indicate saying the word long. Yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> so you come up with Thrill like as we talk about Twin Peaks and bitch about grammatical things. Hey, that's why they pay us the big bucks. I just I just feel so like disconnected from this game at this point. Like what the hell is going on? Moonshine? What? I think like is is this section of the game supposed to be serving like to like the main purpose seems to be to push forward this romantic story between Lucky and Kate, but I, I'm not buying that either. Well, the the only th thread I'm seeing is that he's trying to get out of Kathmandu. Yeah. Um, which, uh, forgive my American ignorance, is that a country or a city? Well, they're in Nepal, so I'm assuming ah. it's a city. Well, I would assume it's bigger than this village then, since it's the only Nepalese city I've ever heard of. But this was a while ago, I guess. Yeah, I, who knows. I Mostly I've only heard of it because of the song. Right. Wow, we are just chatting away. We are yakking away with the yak herder. <laughs> yak, here. yak. Don't talk back. Right. The yeah, let's building go up and hill. hang out with that dude again. He liked us. This place doesn't look big enough to be taken into this room and have it not just be the entire place, you know? Yeah. Also, the incense smoke is a different color inside than outside. Hmm. Okay. What? Principal? 
How did we just demonstrate patience? Because we went and talked to a yak herder? Well, we just sat through a boring scene. I guess so. Um, business. Oh, the, um... Oh, um... Yeah, okay. So, it really seems like this should, should have been called the Heart of Nepal. So far. And we're... over halfway through, and we haven't been... Have we been in China? We've been on our That's way to China. No, we started in Hong Kong. That's right, Hong Kong was China back then. Yeah. Or, I don't know when Hong Kong became English and then... Because it only recently became China again. But it was England right. for a while. It's not that recent, that was 99, right? Well, within my lifespan is recent. <laughs> I was looking at things the other day and it was... At, or, at, today, uh, uh, I was looking at something and it was like, uh, Oops, I did it again came out in 2000. And I'm like, oh my god, what? like I still think of like... 2000 is recent, you know? Yeah. But, but Britney Spears is much older now. Our commentary has gotten way less about this. <laughs> well, if <laughs> this stuff would game. start happening... Yeah, yeah. Shackles of Fear, okay? That's, that's my high school uh, grunge band. <laughs> Penny and Corrupt Just Leader. Steal from food. Ford. <laughs> Thanks. I, okay, so now we're going to go beat up Bojan or rest him out of his shackles of fear to uh, get back a sacred scroll. Oh god, no, I think. Don't what? burn the sacred scroll. Why are we looking for the sacred scroll? Because it was stolen from him, and that's sad. And will he help us with our mission if we get it to him? I believe that he will tell everyone in Kathmandu to help us turn our plane around. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Passion and Wiles. Passion and Wiles will help you in return. Those are the lead singers of my band. <laughs> right. The uh, bassist was regret. <laughs> Always. I meant to say drummer. I screwed that up. That was weird. Yeah, it was. The joke might be having a stroke. The drummer oh. stroke bassist. Flaming intensely. Is that the man in black? Uh, it looks like Zoro. Uh, this is Kubla. Okay, we just know that. We we just have n we now know we now know people's names. He has enlightened us. In Xanadu, his dad built a stately pleasure dome. I heard. How do we know all that? I hey, think... I'm Kubla. Oh, that's not what he looks like when he's a sprite. He's a child. So it seems. My petroleum. I was looking for gas for the plane. I guess. This is this is how I hear him. Why they go with Birdman away from here? All right, short round. <laughs> Man with petroleum! <laughs> Have you noticed that all of your impressions sound very similar? <laughs> they all sound That's like Janeway. Be <laughs> <laughs> That's because I am the same person. Oh! <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> Who care? Kubla no longer want parents. <laughs> this, this, this is like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, but Asian. I oh for God's sake! Now we're now we're like lecturing a child about growing up. Oh, okay, he is a child. I thought. Oh, good. This was just funny because he looked young, but no dice, kid. I mean, come on, that sounds more like the kind of yippee starting the Anakin trend early there. <laughs> Cause. <laughs> I think that's Justin Bieber. Could be. He's wearing a lot of clothes. We just used a VCR. That was strange. What? Yeah, did you not see that little menu pop up? I really need to stop uh, 
my mind wandering quite so much. <laughs> I'm still trying to come up with a witty Justin Bieber rejoinder. By my mind wandering, you mean drinking heavily, right? Only one so far. <laughs> this guy. This guy, wow. I'm so tired of Sardar. It sounds a lot like Jar Jar, doesn't it? A little, yeah. I still like Jar Jar better than C-3PO. <sighs> How just, is it his sacred scroll? You just don't like things. That's your 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 bit. <laughs> it's my bit. It's the curmudgeon Michael T. Bradley. Do, 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 do. You started your curmudgeon head really early. Oh, uh, you kids these days with your Nev Campbell. <laughs> with your Nev Campbell? That's uh, a misty line. I'm so tired of doing misty lines. Uh, <sighs> that's not the way to go. We are completely separate from Misty's. We are we are our own thing, Dagnabbit. That's right. As much as I love them and am happy that the Kickstarter got so much money. Yeah, I can't wait to see how what they create. Yeah. Oh, we, oh my god, we are now, like, this is... I can't buy Lucky being this enlightened character. Kaboom! 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 That's Sardar. where that really should have gone. Sardar looks like he's smelling a fart. Also, his nose Sp is Sardar no care about fart. He only care about drink. <laughs> the heart of China beats with courage. Ooh. It looks like there's that a hippie standing by the fire. I was gonna say, it kinda looks like uh, Robert Plant is over by the fire. Oh, we've got our gun out. Maybe we should maybe we should stop that if shoot we're the hippie. Um, if we're wanting. Oh, we're gonna give it to Sardar? Is he gonna really shoot us? No. That sounds like a bad idea. Isn't it kind of odd that like uh, we aren't letting Chi talk to anybody? Like he I that's if I were playing this game, I would be like uh, let Chi talk to everybody because he is, uh, he's gonna be more culturally sensitive, you know? There's action happening. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so one gun leads to a revolt. Apparently. We didn't, uh, we didn't really... Like, there was nothing about the whole, like, any who oppose his will, he threatens to destroy. The I thought it there was going to be some, like, heavy mind match bullshit about how we had to agree with him, yet make him see he was wrong. Like he was going to become Stephen Colbert or something. Ha, 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 says local. <laughs> Heave, who? See, there's an example right there. Right, right. See, that Don't was worry, just kid. foreshadowing. I court trouble. Hong Kong erupts. Also, there is a volcano in Hong Kong. Yeah, why would this game ever go back to China? It's crazy. Yeah, Kate would probably like that. That's what we should be thinking about right now. Also, good thing I found that newspaper in a cutscene. His elbow is thinking. Yeah, his elbow's a very thoughtful elbow. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ching. Look at look at the kid on the right, like or Kate on the right. What the hell is up? It looks like she just got punched. Bye. Oh good, we won over the Nepalese locals. That's like the end of a sitcom freeze frame there. Hmm. Istanbul? Is this secretly Carmen San Diego? Maybe, except with I why is Kate like he's sexy. Also, he knows that fear is fear. She looks like Buffy. Yeah. Now it gets interesting. We've got a vampire slayer on the plane. <laughs> I should have said Sarah Michelle Geller, but I couldn't remember her name in time. Uh it happens. And she is asleep. Yeah. I guess that's supposed to be funny. Yeah, uh, sure. 
he's all very like, oh, yes, madam. Madam. Where does madam wish to go? She at least thinks out of her head. That's true. So that puts her ahead. I mean, that's <laughs> not what I meant. Ugh. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna vomit all of a sudden. Must be the altitude. <laughs> Burf in his lap. I, um, oh, okay, no. so, are, are like... Are gonna get poisoned? Does Kate like us, um, because we stopped in and asked how she's doing? She's probably just delirious from gas fumes. Perky! Pretty darn the perky. The body is looking pretty darn perky. Also, it's, she's staring at me as if she's gonna eat my face. <laughs> you stud you. She keeps staring, just just keep your face immobile. Just keep it immobile. This monologue makes his face seem very smug right now. Oh yeah, he yeah. He bored until he started talking. I bet she was undressing me with her eyes. What? <laughs> I think that's what I wouldn't give, oh, right? Oh dear. I... you... Uh... I don't know, is that him thinking or cheese? Because it's switched sides, so it's kind of confusing. I It really, I, I said it before and I'll say it again, I don't think they've ever read a comic book. They don't know how those thought bubbles work. Yeah. Squawk, squawk. Now we're going to Istanbul, not Constantinople. Constantinople. Yeah. We every every place we're visiting is a good song. Yeah. Wait, you like a thing? A good song, you said. <laughs> yeah. I like plenty of things. <laughs> I am unlike that, unlike the uh, the the driver's uh, seat there, which is obviously just a curmud curmudgeon. Talking about hashish women. <laughs> Sheesh. A little callback there, like to tie the whole thing together. <laughs> right. It's like the rug in Lebowski's apartment. <laughs> just like. Also, I'm gonna knock on your face here, so don't don't <laughs> think that's weird. Third wheel's okay. It's the fifth wheel that's the problem. Oh, now the dirt. Well, is but thinking. he he knows rickshaws. The nabob. Yeah. Oh, he's got on his jod purse for us. <laughs> She's got on her like uh, pioneer woman look. You know what those jod purse make me think of is the the swollen thighs of the servant in Mano's Hands of Fate. Oh, uh, right, right, um, Torgo. Yeah. Which I guess they're going for goat legs was what they were trying for, but it just was a swelling. Yeah, he, he was a centaur or whatever. Or not a centaur, the other one. Um, Satter. Other way around. Yeah, Satter. Meanwhile, oh, I hope we get that same cut. Oh, no, now we have this thing. I want to know what's going on with the kid with, like, the bleeding eyes in the middle ground. Oh, that soldier just killed them. Oh, we're leaving behind a trail of dead people in our wake. Everybody who helped us is now being murdered. This cutscene... Cutscene? This... It seems very wacky. It should have wacky music. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> I couldn't... I tried to go for Yakety Sax, and somehow I went to the music from the animated Robin Hood. Whistle Stop is the name of the track. Ah. Uh. Just... For trivia sake. <laughs> okay, I want to know this dude's story standing in the uh, in the doorway here. The one in the foreground? Or... Yeah. I want his outfit. He looks like he's got regrets. <laughs> a lot of regrets. Regrets. I've had a few. Am I getting and this a guy is the saddest, the saddest bartender ever. I don't understand how we know everything about people. I guess literally the uh, llama gave us enlightenment. Customers are all wearing khaki. I wonder if this is where like off-duty off policemen come to drink their sorrows away and play darts. Well, it is the officer's club, right? Is it? I think that's what it said. What is the stuffed animal in the top middle, would you say? 
Um, you think that's what it is? It's like What's... an animal head, like the lower half of a moose or something. I was thinking head. maybe a walrus penis. <laughs> oh, of course, that's that's what it is always. This guy is looking younger and less ruffianish, yeah, like in every shot. He was scruffier before. Sheesh, women. Hashish. All operators are women, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I'll hold. Oh, sweet. It looks like it looks like kind of a jowlier version of uh, uh Ray Wise from Twin Peaks. Sure. I can see that. <laughs> he's wearing a cravat, so you know he's an asshole. <laughs> Istanbul and calm down. I am lucky masters. Do we swear in this? Because uh, I just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't care. She's okay. not here. She's off meandering. Is that what the kids are calling these days? <laughs> 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 I've got a duck waddle and I'm unhappy about it, masters. Very unhappy. <laughs> yeah, it's still Janeway. <laughs> I've got a world map behind me because I'm a Bond villain. <laughs> There's a white cat scratching the shit out of my lap right now. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. They just always... Parasing just always goes for the first option. I don't... I, I want to get, like, the crazier options. Catman do It's like the Bob Seger song. <laughs> He should run for president. <laughs> what do you think of all these Mexicans taking our jobs? Because he does look like a cross between certain pundits sort of shuffled together. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I love back in the day when you could just be like, let's meet in Paris, you know? And it's like, okay. Because there are like 75 people in Paris, so we'll just look for each other. <laughs> I'll wear a red rose in my lapel. <laughs> just imagine Paris, just everyone's wearing a red rose. Because they're all there to meet <laughs> someone. No one actually lives there. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Named after yours truly, five card stud. Ugh. What, seven planes? Yeah, he's he's bidding high. How many planes can you fly at a time? Oh my <laughs> god, it's working. Well, he 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 wants to he wants to start oh, a uh um... Lomax went down. Yeah. Ha. Good for him. This is rah, 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 I trapped you, lucky. <laughs> Get it while you can. Anyway, my cigar has gone out because I've just held it by my face for so long. <laughs> oh, was that him being like, I am totally boning your daughter while I have her? Lol. Lol. <laughs> At the Eiffel Tower. See, even that's not specific enough. The Eiffel Tower is pretty big. And I would assume so. With baguettes yeah. and narrow mustaches. going to walk around for like three hours. Oh no, it's the gendarmerie. Oh no! Look, the little gun is upset. I don't want <laughs> to be used as a uh, for hatred. No! I can explode. He's a palace guard. Are they in a palace? Yep. Right, because the nabob. Right. Well, now she looks like Carrie Fisher. Yeah, I can see. Is this going to be a plot branch? Nope. I guess not. That man is an exit. <laughs> that man is an exit. There's a lot in that statement. <laughs> oh, now the locket comes into play? Did we even see the locket before? I don't remember it. I vaguely recall it coming up. Also, is she like a Jedi or something? Like her <laughs> outfit maybe implies that. Oh, she's we can still buy dressed and like sell a nurse. Over here. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to sell our locket and get a gun, and then 
convince everyone that because we have a gun, we can overthrow the Nabob. It's odd that her sprite is still wearing the nurse's hat. Something offensive <laughs> about that mustache. Yeah, it, well, it's obviously fake, right? So yeah, that's, yeah. I think, where it starts. Like, I think they made the sprite first, and then they were like, oh, shit, we don't have a mustachioed actor. Just get, like, Bob in here and put a mustache on him and have him turn to the camera. It's going to be fine. Nobody will tell an 8-bit that it's a fake mustache. He's got kind of a tan. He'll fit. No, look, he's raped, like, 74 children. Madam, and we have their bones outside of a house that he was renting. It's really terrible. Is Nabob a real title? I've never uh, heard it before. Sure. I've heard the phrase Bob and Nabob, but I, I, I don't know what it means. No, madam, let me tell you how he disgraced her. He disgraced her over and over and over again. Fry and eat chocolates, of course. Sheesh, women. <laughs> she ate bonbons with the nabob. That sounds like fun. Hashish bonbons. See, even that, uh, even that thought bubble kind of went off screen where Kate is. Like, whoever was in charge of Kate's thought bubbles was much better off. Seems that way. No, it's... It, Lucky is in quotes, not Jake Masters. Foo, yuck. And let me tell you some of the unpleasant things I've had on my lips, ma'am. <laughs> like, for instance, this fake mustache. <laughs> Break it on down. Oh, there's death sitting in a corner. <laughs> oh, we scared off the little dog lamb. Oh, God. I have a Sisters of Mercy video I'm planning to shoot soon. Um... Madam. She doesn't <laughs> look like a madam. My pretties? My pretties? Talking to, like, scabies or something? <laughs> she wants our help, my pretties. She's like a cross between the Wicked Witch and Gollum. My pretties! What? What? I... She like, too bad he's not fucking you? Is that... Like, you mentioned he was male, that's enough for me, let's go. Uh... uh yep, those bars right there, because nobody guards that area. And that just happens to be the window where he's at. In the entire palace. I bet if we take our amulet and use the uh, chain on it and just scrape them back and forth against one of those, then we'll be then we'll be fine. Nothing we value to offer in exchange. I'll pay you. Ah, so now the quest is to figure out what she wants, so you can pay her, so she'll help you. Bum, bum. And you've got a sliding puzzle and. <laughs> Oh god, those goddamn sliding puzzles. <laughs> or the pipe connecting puzzle, or any of those. Yeah. Meanwhile. Oh, <laughs> that's a hat. <laughs> I guess that's the princess behind him being all like, oh, finally lucky. Didn't know Ugg. She was your daughter. Her name is Ugg. Look at those, like, scrawny chicken arms he has. Okay. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be back next time for the exciting conclusion, I am sure, of <laughs> Heart of China. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Skixmatics. Have a good one, everyone. Ta-ta.